So I've just clean installed Windows 10 TH2 on my Dell laptop and now I'm going to look at the device manager to see the status of the system drivers. And what you can see is that I have a huge list of drivers without devices. And I'll just open some of the upper categories so I can have a quick look. So essentially what we need to do is install drivers for all these devices. Now we can go directly to Dell and start downloading and installing all the drivers that they offer. However, before doing so, I'm going to use Windows Update. Microsoft have partnered with the manufacturers of most of the hardware and so have a pretty impressive array of drivers available via Windows Update for Windows 10 TH2. So what we're going to do is check for updates and yes you'll see that most of the updates listed are for the system drivers, i.e. most of them are Intel drivers. And it will take some time to download all these updates. What you see happening just there is that the display driver is being installed. So the screen is flickering as the driver is installed. And now you can see under display adapters that we have Intel HD graphics family. So it's installed the display adapter. And if we have a look at all the unknown devices we had listed before, we can see that a significant amount of them have disappeared. I.e. Microsoft have got the drivers via Windows Update and automatically installed them. So let's open up Windows Update just to check that it's finished. And yes, it has. So we'll select Restart now. And the computer will restart and the updates will configure. And we're logged back in. And let's open up the device manager again. So we've got four unknown devices. So what we can do is right click them, select properties, and go to details and then select hardware IDs. Now the vendor of this device is 8086, so that's also an Intel device. And these three unknown devices are likely linked to the first device. They don't have the vendor details listed. So now we've got the unknown devices. And what we need to do is download the system drivers from Dell. So let's press the Windows and R button to bring up the run command and type in msinfo32 without any spaces and press enter. What we're wanting to do is examine what the system model is because we obviously need to download system drivers for the correct model. And I'll just check for more updates via Windows Update and there's nothing there. So. There's Dell drivers and downloads, but I prefer downloads.dell.com. The drivers and downloads should have an auto detect tool, but I prefer to install everything manually. So select it's a laptop, select it's an Inspiron, and select that it's an Inspiron 7347. The bias is up to date. It's the same bias revision as listed in the system info. And now the first drivers that should be installed are the chipset drivers. However, they'll list these by alphabetical category and put the applications first, which are the last things that should be installed. So I'm going to check what drivers I have currently installed from Windows Update. And the first thing I'm going to look at is the SM bus controller. So the SM bus controller is essentially the chipset 
And so in the device manager, we can right click it and we can go to properties and we can then go to driver to see the driver version that's currently installed. And if you have a look, you'll see that it's newer than what Dell have listed on their website. So this means essentially that we don't need to bother installing it. And now I'm just going to repeat the same process with the Intel Virtual Buttons driver, the Intel Management Engine Interface driver, and the Intel Serial Input Output driver. And for all of these, we'll see that the version currently installed is either newer or the same as the version listed on the Dell website. So we don't need to install any of these. What I don't see listed, however, is the Intel Dynamic Platform and Thermal Framework driver. So I'm just going to download this and then I'm going to install it. This is likely the driver for the unknown device. So I want the WT64A. WT64A stands for Windows 10 64-bit. WB64A stands for Windows 8.1 64-bit. And Windows 7 drivers are named as Windows 7 64-bit or Windows 7 32-bit respectively. If you've got Windows 10 drivers, install these. If you don't, install the Windows 8.1 drivers. And if you don't have Windows 8.1 drivers, then install the Windows 7 drivers. They should all work in Windows 10. So I'm just going to follow the instructions and I'm going to install the Intel Dynamic Platform and Thermal Framework driver. And now I'll close all the tabs. And I'll select Next and Finish. And this is the driver installed now, so we'll check the device manager again. And what we can see is no unknown devices. They are obviously taken care of by this driver as suspected. So let's just expand the Intel Dynamic Platform and Thermal Framework and right click each device and select properties. And we can select the driver tab to look at the version and we can select the details tab and have a look at the hardware IDs. So you'll see that these hardware IDs are the same as the unknown devices that we had earlier on. So that's on the chipset drivers installed and actually the rest of the device manager looks okay. One could probably use the system fine as is, but we'll go back to downloads.dell.com and we'll select the model. And we'll just compare the drivers that Dell list with the version currently installed. So let's scroll down. The applications, as mentioned, should be installed last, so we'll get them later. So there's the audio driver. Let's open sound, video and game controllers, and highlight real tech, high definition audio. Let's look at the driver. And we see Dell offer 
a newer version, so we'll just start downloading it. Let's scroll down, got the BIOS and chipset and firmware, and now the YLAN driver. So let's see what Dell are offering and let's see what the current version that's installed is by expanding network adapters, right clicking the Intel wireless device and then selecting driver and then looking at the driver version. And we'll see that Dell are offering a much newer version so we'll download that. And now we'll also look at Bluetooth. So we'll see what they were offering in terms of the Bluetooth driver. And again, we'll open up the device manager to see what is currently installed. So we'll expand Bluetooth and we'll right click the Intel wireless Bluetooth, select properties, and then select driver. And we'll see that we've essentially got the same version so we won't bother downloading the Bluetooth driver. So let's scroll down and let's see what else is on offer. This system doesn't have an Ethernet, so we'll go to the Intel Rapid Storage Technology driver now. And again, we'll see what Dell is offering and we'll expand storage controllers and we'll see it's a Microsoft Storage Spaces controller which means there's no Intel driver installed and it's actually the driver inbuilt to Windows that's currently being used so we'll download this and the last one on the list is the graphics driver so this is under display adapters and we'll see what version is currently installed. So we'll right click the Intel display adapter and we'll select driver and we'll see the driver version. And the version installed is newer than the version that Dell are listing. So we won't bother installing it. Note in some cases it says Microsoft basic display adapter this means there's no proper graphics driver installed in other cases there might be multiple display adapters i.e for switchable graphics in that case the intel driver should be installed first so now i'm just installing intel rapid storage technology and i'll just open up the device manager and I'll check what the standard SATA controller is now. Now you see it says Intel series chipset family SATA and it's got an Intel driver that's up to date. I'll just select no here and I'll close the device manager and I'll restart the computer. So Windows will restart now and this time I will install the wireless driver. So I'll just follow through the instructions to install this. And that's it installed. So let's select close and right click the start button and go to the device manager. And let's just check the network adapters. And right click the Intel wireless and select driver. And we can see that we have the up to date driver installed. Now I'm going to install the Realtek Audio driver. And up comes this Windows smart screen, can't be reached at the moment. And because it's a trusted driver, I can select run anyway. But I'm just going to select no here. So 
what happened there was the system went offline because I installed the new wireless adapter. So I need to reconnect to my wireless network. So I'll just select connect. And because the system was offline, the Windows smart screen couldn't be used. It's essentially every time you run a new application, it will check with Microsoft online to see if the application is safe or not. And you see when I launch it this time, it launches without the smart screen error message because we are online and the driver is verified by Dell and Realtek and Microsoft know it's a good driver. So the Realtek install will begin, select next and perform the operations and we'll be prompted to restart the computer. Select finish. And this driver actually continues installing after you restart your computer. I'll just check the device manager. Sound, audio and game controllers. And we see that it's a high definition audio device and the Realtek driver is still installing. So we select next. And now it's actually installing the driver. Okay, so the driver is still installing, so let's just close down the, the device manager and let the Realtek audio continue to install the driver. And let's open the device manager now and we see it's a Realtek high definition audio device. So let's select finish. Right click the start button and select the device manager again. And we can check the driver version. And it's the up to date driver listed by now. So let's select OK. And that's has installed all the system drivers. We'll now move on to the applications. And there's two applications that I want to install. That's the Dell Quickset and the ST Micro Electronics Free Access Digital Accelerometer application. Although there are other applications listed, these are the only two ones that I need for field system functionality. So they are the only two that I'm going to install. Again, I'll open the downloads folder. And now everything has downloaded. So let's install the ST Microelectronics Free Access Digital Accelerometer application and double click it and select yes when you get to the user account control prompt and then select install. and then just follow the on-screen instructions, select next, agree with the license agreement, select next and select install and then select finish. And now close. And now I'm going to install the Dell 
quick set application. Again, I'll select yes at the user account control prompt, I'll select install, and then I'll select next, complete, and then install, and then I'll select finish, and then I'll select close. And now all the Dell system drivers are installed. So I'm just going to delete the um, installers from the downloads folder, close down edge, and empty the recycle bin. So now I will just restart the computer after all the drivers are installed and it's ready to use.